Merci beaucoup. Il nous reste un tout. Thank you very much. We just have a teeny bit of time left. And all our questions, uh, very relevant questions were asked. But I have one last question that perhaps is just a question of curiosity. But I'd like to hear what you have to say because we have so many, we see so many images and I'm here in Quebec and we know that our Canadian Armed Forces were there for our seniors. And we want to know how you were received in these homes, how you were welcomed, did people appreciate your work? You worked with people who, who weren't used to seeing the Canadian Armed Forces, so we'd like to hear a bit about how that reception was and the welcome was. In fact, I'd like to share a few anecdotes with, with you. When our first teens came to the long-term care homes in Quebec, they were welcomed, arms wide open, and some of the uh, seniors were even weeping. These people were in distress, so it showed the need that we had to meet. Another thing that I noted was that every time we finished a mission in a long-term care home, we always held a ceremony at the end. That's part of our traditions when we celebrate the beginning and the end. And every time we held one of these ceremonies, they were quite moving. Well, we weren't able to hug and kiss each other because of rules, but there were a lot of crying and a lot of recognition of our personnel and strong ties between our personnel and the seniors in these homes. And these residents just needed to talk to people. They needed someone to take them by the hand and help them. We were there for that. Thank you. Thanks for sharing this with us. This 